cheese and jelly beans. Let's get out there. Just gotta slowly creep up here. There might be people coming in here to go to the pumps. And we're good. Okay. So the reels on my trailer weigh 27,000 pounds. Oh, well, just under 28,000. I think like 27,000 something. So we're nowhere near being overweight, especially since I have the triaxle on the trailer. Not even worried in the slightest. We're gonna make our way out to Headingley. Looks like we should arrive there. Well, it says around 7.30, 8 o'clock. We'll see how the roads are on the way. drove over that like how did how does that happen how, how are people not paying attention that they drag their trailer over that i don't know never say never because it could happen that would never happen <laughs> here's a good Turn left here, go through town, and take the 13 eastbound. guy here that's okay I think these guys slept here overnight like right in their yard and I slept over at the truck stop because I wanted to go have supper yesterday uh, at the restaurant there and there's no restaurant here so I guess that was just uh, my bad so I'm just doing my paperwork here now I keep track of all my miles where I go what I'm hauling my trip numbers my odometer, everything in a separate little little booklet here. Which reminds me, I'm going to have to get another one soon. I'm almost through a whole booklet already. And then I get my envelope ready for my paperwork so that it's all neat and organized so that I don't lose it or misplace it. Because I know that if I don't properly take care of the important documents, they're going to get lost. I don't know what happens to them. They just disappear. I can't even say my dog ate them because my dog's not with me. I don't know. So I'll have to take extra precautions to make sure that everything important is in its important spot. And not a different important spot that I designate to it every time. No, no, the same important spot every time. Every single time. Even if I have to walk all the way back to my truck and put it in that important spot. Because if I'm like, oh, I'll put it here and I'll remember and I'll put it away later. Later it comes around, I'm like, where did I put it? Why is it not in its spot? Right? I don't want to lose things. Especially don't want to lose my mind. Because if I lose things, I start to lose my mind. And then I'm in trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six reels. And a big thank you to Henry, one of our drivers who was there, who helped me chain these down real quick. He was the guy who was in front of me. He got his load tied down, he came back and helped me with mine. Got it done real quick. Now I'm off. We're back at the co-op, right where we started again this morning. We have to have these reels in Winnipeg tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm gonna stop at the Flying J in Headingley, west of Winnipeg for night. I'm really actually looking forward to that because then I can have a shower. As nice as this place is here, they don't have showers here, as far as I know anyway. Not free ones anyways. At Flying J, I can get a free shower if I fuel, and I have to fuel tonight, so grab that, find a good parking spot, we'll get there this evening. So
sometime. Hopefully there's some parking left for us. But it's definitely gonna be filled up if we don't get going soon, so. Let's roll. Nice, right? I had a nice shot of it just driving past me and over there, but just as I was just getting the best possible angle for my shot, that Volvo came storming through my shot and ruined my shot. <laughs> huh. Oh well, Volvos matter too, right? But yeah, that truck was plated in Quebec, not surprised. Quebecers love their trucks. They have a lot of nice trucks. That's where those big famous truck pulls are every year. I really want to go to those one year yet. I'm gonna take Theo. He would love it. One of these years. I gotta look up when that when that is again. I'm sure a lot of you guys go to that, right? See those big massive truck pulls? Like they're very famous, like world famous. They happen in Quebec. One of these days we'll go. Always oh, backing up again. Oh, it's such a beautiful truck. Look at this thing. No, no, never mind. We'll drive past it if I can. Just gorgeous, the whole unit, truck, trailer. Wow. Nice. So we're here in Portage La Prairie, filling up just one tank, because fuel is more expensive here in Manitoba than in other places. And I don't know where I'm going from here. So I filled up one tank, I was almost empty, so I got about just over half tanks now. And if I go down to the US, then I can fuel there. If I go to Ontario, uh, well, Northern Ontario is not much cheaper. It's actually more expensive in Northern Ontario. If we go out west again, we can fuel up in Saskatchewan or Alberta. Just, eh. It's not wintertime, it's not minus 30, so I don't have to have full tanks to go to sleep. In wintertime, I do that just so I keep the tanks full to keep the condensation down inside my tanks so that it doesn't, like, cause me problems. But it's summertime, so in summertime, I am the ultimate bargain hunter when it comes to fuel. Show me the cheap juice. That's where you'll find me. So now we're gonna go to Headingley, just down the road, find a parking spot and have a shower. So I put in 346 liters or about 91 US gallons. Hey, there goes that Volvo that ruined my shot. He didn't even have time to go in and grab a coffee. And he's got every single one of his straps going over top of the rub rail. Uh. Oh, I see you. And there's nothing I can do about it. 
but please put your straps inside the rub rail. It's just, it's one of the pet peeves of mine. I know it's not always possible for every strap. Okay, there are exceptions. I acknowledge that there are exceptions, but why would you go over the rub rail and then into the ratchet, right? Why don't you go th through the rub rail and into the ratchet? I don't know, it's just been something, it's been this season's pet peeve. Every season I have a new pet peeve. Let me complain. I gotta complain about something or it's not a full day. <laughs> oh well, oh well. You do you drivers, you do you. I'm just making conversation and uh, fishing for comments. All right, let's see if we can get, uh, do a slow roll past this beautiful Quebec truck. It's this red trailer, third one over. It's beautiful, look at that rear end. Woo! Oh my, oh my, that's enough to get a trucker excited. That's beautiful. Oh. All right, we're gonna do a slow roll past. He might think I'm crazy for having a camera on my head, but he'll understand. Look, that's a custom sleeper on there too. Oh. Wow. Look at that, that's a full custom truck. Whew. How do you say hello? You know, in French, not bonjour, I'm talking about the, you know, hello. <laughs> Say bon. Say très bon. I'll make a hard corner here so we can see the front of it. Look at that. Woo. Very nice. Say très, très bon. Ah, oh. I really like that truck. Wow. Who even Old Blue likes the truck too, you hear that? Oh, oh Blue. You got a chance, you can get her. You can get her, I'm married, but hey, you can get her. That made my day. That was very nice. Very nice. Flying J heading Lee, do you have a parking spot for me? I hope so. This is why I fueled up in Portage already. Because very often if I fuel before I park, I'll find the perfect spot and be like, yeah, I'm gonna get it as soon as I'm done fueling. And then I go fuel and someone else parks there. Mm -hmm. So now at least if that happened, if someone got my spot while I was fueling in Portage, I don't know about it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, where's the good spots? Somebody show me the good spots. I wanna be parked right along here, out in the open. Out in the open where no one's gonna hit me, but I don't wanna be in a paid spot. I don't want to pay to park because I'm cheap. Is there a spot in here? Is there a spot right here? Yep, that's my spot right there. That's my spot. I don't even care that it's beside the reefers. Oops, I can't make this corner. <laughs> silly me, silly me, silly me. What am I doing? Okay. Oh. There we go, there we go. You see, this guy is way too far forward. It's okay, because we're gonna back in there and everything is gonna be good. It's okay, cause it's gonna be a good day. It's 
See, I'll park between the reefers, even though they're gonna be a little noisier, but I know it's a safe spot to park. It's gotta be careful though, some of these NASCAR drivers might go flying through there behind me and not. Uh, slow and steady, slow and steady. Very often these reefer guys, they have nighttime deliveries, so they'll be gone at night anyway, very often. Okay. All right, here we go. Wait for the bump. I wanna bump the car, but not too hard. Just a little love kiss, there you go. That's that, everybody. That's a wrap. As the applause all right so that's it I'm gonna run in have a shower before it uh, gets too busy and when we get to bed I gotta be like in the heart of Winnipeg not downtown but like in st. James like in the congested area of Winnipeg first thing tomorrow morning so I want to try and beat the traffic while at the same time not being too early because it's a very tight area and they don't want me early for my appointment. My appointment's 9 a.m. So it looks like I'm gonna be going into the city right during the heat of rush hour. It's wonderful, wonderful. Something to look forward to, definitely. Definitely, we will have dreams about it tonight. Looking forward to the traffic congestion and all of the crazy people that are late for work and that must be in front of the semi gonna be fun but thanks for hanging out with me today anyways I had fun I don't know you had fun I had fun tomorrow's another day we'll make another video tomorrow so if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed because there will be another video tomorrow just like there was another there will be another video the next day most days most days make daily videos so if you like today hey we got more coming and we got a lot in the past you can go check out my playlists we got videos going back all the way to 2011 Take care, drive safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. One quick thing before I go and shower and get ready for bed. I've already taken the strap off of here. I'm gonna move these to the front. I really don't want to uh, just leave tarps like that sitting on the end of my trailer back here. I want to be able to trust everybody that no one's going to steal them. But I don't. So I'm going to bring them to the front of my trailer so that they'd have to hop up on the back of my truck if they want to take them. And I'll feel that inside the cab. And then they better be able to run fast.